guys, Thomas the Slayer Jr. here, aka Mustache Town, and welcome back to some more Death Stranding. Here we are, broke out it again. Norman Reedus, a bomb. Just fun. I wonder if the bomb blows up if we use the vehicle. That's what we were doing last time. Let's just do it. Alright, here we go. No problems at all. Nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Well, shit. <laughs> well, that was fast. See this getting annoying anytime soon. Oh, what the heck? All my organization went away. God damn it. that anymore. so I don't have to double reorganize that. Because I have a feeling I'm going to blow up again. God damn it. I don't have enough faith in myself to get through this clean. Alright, let's try it again. Whoa! Alright, gotta be extra careful. problem. Alright. Clear roads ahead. Am I right, guys? Woo! Can't believe they've done this to us. What will happen? Do I blow up? No. Hitting the water does not close the blow up. Okay. Vital information there. chase after me when I have a bomb? It's really not ideal. Oh boy. Oh, did you see that? You're shooting like they don't care. Some people, man.
try to go up here. Something tells me doing this will be... Ugh. Oh no, I can't do it that way. fast saves here, guys. I don't trust myself. That's why I'm doing it here. Before the rain gets all crazy. Or we have to do any more boo shit. So we all know what comes after the rain. doing this for again? I forgot. Well, I'm sure we'll get our answers, right guys? That's what Death Stranding is known for, giving us answers. I'm pausing it and I'm muting it. We all know why I'm doing this, but if I have to explain it, fucking copyright, guys. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna do another. I know, I know. It's my most cowardly exposition to date, but still. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I have to mute my TV, but for fuck's sakes. What do you want from me? Wait, what? Oh, I attached the bomb to my back. Oh. I mean, as far as locations go, this looks unique. Ish. Okay, go this way. A little bit more to this side. Even more. What are these things? Jesus Christ, man, stop. I know. Don't have to constantly remind me of how easy the world can be fucked. Okay, we are almost. 
else there? Whoop. Isn't going super fast or anything. Why? Where are we going? Where is this location? What building am I looking at here? I think I can hoof it from here. Ow. Okay, that didn't activate the bomb. Just circle around the rock. No biggie. No problemo. Easy as one, two, three. Alright, I think the copyright music should be done by now. Hopefully. No problem. So what's this place's deal? Got a unique floating city over here, huh? Or something or other, I don't know. Why are we doing this? I still want to know why I needed to transport a bomb. Isn't our goal like to save America or something? So why we... Uh, again, I don't know. I, I legit forgot what we were doing. Or, I mean, why we were doing this. There we go. See what happens. Have your bomb. Anti-matter bomb. I only blew up once. That should be good, right? Oh wow, that's the first time I got an A. A C? Oh my god. Blah blah blah, hello. Yeah, I know. What the hell? Nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would figure that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. Alright. Enough games, Mama. Hmm. You're only making things worse. I mean, 
is she even wrong? The fuck were we doing? Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. So why did we deliver a bomb? The fuck? What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges one, went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Hmm. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. The Death Stranding? There be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Malingan's accident. Lachna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lachna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lachna around. Time to get personal. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just a delivery person. Mail time! My dear Mr. Sambridges, tis I, your most devoted admirer and obedient servant, Peter Englert. You are doubtless aware of the monumentous occasion which demands celebration this very day, surely not. Of course, for I would be shocked if you knew that it marks another year since the joining of myself and the, my beloved wife and the bonds of holy matrimony. As you may suspect, there is only one way in which we could uh, com com yeah. commemorate there we go, the birth of our union. Pizza! We will not begrudge you, begrudge, we will not begrudge me my continued impudence, I hope. But would you, but how could you? It is only natural for our own, our sacred anniversary, I would seek to procure one of the, uh, incomparable pies only you can provide. I say one, but could we be so bold as to impose for you? you uh to impose upon you for two and if you could be topped with grated cheese that would be m magical they should be waiting for you at the time for farmer shelter they provided the wheat for the dough and i do believe they've taken the liberty of tossing in a bottle of their magnificent beer to boot thanks as ever you really are a saint Good news, Sam. The uh, antimatter bomb should stop the tar from spreading. Oh, that's what we were doing? Thanks for that. You really saved our bacon. I wasn't a able to connect the Cupid, though. Lochne stepped in and stopped me. She, not, she may not be in Bridges anymore, but she still calls the shots around here. Wasn't much I can do after that. It's not like I could ignore her. You know, she's changed a lot ever since Mama got caught up in the terrorism stuff. Stands to reason, of course, with their relationship. Still, even if it's not my place, I've got to ask, could you go talk to Mama about it? I've got a feeling they could patch things up if they just started speaking to each other again. If you do decide to go, check your private locker. I left you some extra supplies. Should let you help you get to Mama's lab safe and sound. Thanks again, Sam. Alrighty.
gotta go. Oh. Over there for the pizza. And yeah, apparently that is a main quest. And over there for Mama, I think. Oh, wait a minute, what's this one? Oh, what's this one? Sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Where does the game want me to go? Okay, not there. God damn it. I'm trying to look at the map. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's where I want to end up, right? Water is available, zero. What? Okay, now I'm really confused. Three. Maybe I need to go back there? Any other locations of seven? Honors in progress. What does orders in available and orders in progress mean? Is there a difference? What is the difference? I don't I actually don't know what that means. Does the game want me to go back to Mama's lab? Right? That's what the this said. Check your private locker, I got some extra supplies. Which I can't do from here, right? I'm very confused what the game wants me to do right now. So it wants me to visit Mama's lab, right? Is there anything else in my, you said private locker, right, which is the only thing I can access. Those are the only things in there that are left in there, so I'm assuming what I picked up is for what he gave me. I guess I'm going to Mama's lab, I don't know. Again, I'm going to assume that that's what the game is telling me to do for the mail. And if that's the case, the 
surely the game would want me to go this way. Right? Instead of going all the way around. And where was her lab again? Way down here. Anything it touches, just like ordinary time fall, cargo containers will deteriorate if they come into contact with time fall snow. Well, that's a new gimmick. Okay, I appreciate it. Does that mean there's new. Think about it, time falls snow. Your white lake or right? You land you walk on it with your bare feet? Would you not just die instantly? That amount of snow touching your feet. This would be a shortcut, but I guess I was wrong. Let's uh, run a little bit faster here. Extreme blizzards into ghost is there? Question mark. I guess so. Well, no the. Why would you do that? Why would you take it off just to put it back on, you silly guy? Um, this track is like eating at my armor or the speed thing. Well, it is what it be. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna laugh if I get there and it's like, nope. even access it. Too bad. Find another way. And that's the thing about this game is that like there's plenty of side quests, right? I don't feel like doing any of them to be honest.
And who knows, maybe some of them might have benefited me here. Like maybe getting a better leg suit or something, I don't know. I thought I would have had the, um, the laser, like, the grappling, whatever it is, like, one that lets you transport like that. I don't know what it's called. Okay, how are we doing? We are, like, halfway through. See, this is, uh, you know, I think this is where a lot of complaints would come in, of like, you're just trudging to get to, like, anything in this game. Where, it's like, it's directly opposing what I would, like, say would made, um, Spider-Man so good, is that you were just able to, like, zip through the world, and claim the side quest so easily, and the rewards felt more worth it because the ability to travel from one area to another, uh, you know, it was quick. So you felt like, you'd be like, yeah, I want to do that, and you know, you get the extra points and you buy your suits and you'd be like, yeah, cool. Here, you are trudging, trudging to get from destination from point A to B. And it doesn't feel like there's enough in the game that's, like, rewarding me yet, even through the main story. Like, even the motorcycle, I feel like, a little way. Um, and again, it comes down to, like, like I said, like, is there equipment that's probably worth getting? Probably probably is worth getting, but I don't feel like trudging even more than I should. I hope I made that complete, that complaint to make sense. It's about, it's about the willingness to go through the trudge. Hmm. Mail? Sure, why not? Hope you're kicking ass and taking aims. I'm not doing any of those things, Sam. We heard HQ suspects the whole central nut void out thing might have been terrorism. Kind of blew my mind to think that they're hitting the east coast already. Things have been getting worse out here too. It was way quieter in this neck of the woods when we were for, when we first showed up. That's for sure. Back then, it didn't make it didn't matter what breed of crazy there were. Separatist, isolationist. Leave me alone, Tarians. <laughs> Whatever. We could at least get them to sit down and talk. Now it's blowing. It's blow shit up first, ask questions later. All cause for some folks got in their heads that Bridges and the UCA are the real baddies. Not that I'm saying we shouldn't keep out trying to speak sense to these guys. If we don't, we'll be suck beating each other over. The head with bigger and bigger sticks till the world's covered in craters. But on top of everything, now we've got the these demons, wackos, and their wacko and chief Higgs to deal with. Not that he was always a total fruit loop. He used to be a porter, ran his own outfit hereabouts. And then the postmaster went postal. Don't ask me about how or why. I don't think he could, he would even, he could, yeah, I don't think he, even he could tell you. End of the day, only way forward is with each other, hand in hand, with a fellow man. That's what the UCA is all about, am I right? All I know is I've been trudging snow for the past few minutes. Like, I don't think a motorcycle would have gotten me through this section any faster. I mean, there's not any, like, threat. 
It doesn't seem like. It's just time consuming. And again, it's that time consumption that it's really, it eats away at like my desire to do side quests because it's more trudging from point A to point B consistently throughout the game. Is the game like trying to be all philosophical about traveling? Is that it? It's not the A or B, it's about how you get there. Well, how I get there is taking me fucking forever. <laughs> it's not worth it. And I, I, like I said, I'm gonna laugh if I get to Mama's place and it's like, nope, you gotta do something else first. That's happened to me before. Oh, fuck off. With the music. Fuck off. God damn it. <sighs> thank you, but no thank you. I will listen to the soundtrack on my own time. Not that I, when I review games, I usually talk about that sort of stuff anyway, because my, my parameters are focused on story and gameplay. And, you know, I've kind of been, uh weighing in a lot more on the gameplay side of things. So I do want to talk about the, the story when I, you know, a little bit more in context when I get through it all. Um, and I do have my complaints about that section as well, honestly. Uh, and that shouldn't surprise anybody. And it goes hand in hand with the gameplay, which is unfortunate. Um, this is one of those titles that the one... The, these two elements don't complement each other well enough uh, because again it's that it's that trudging of feeling from getting point A to point B well the snow is gone alright was there really no fat what, what I wonder if that would have taken me any slower or faster if I had done it the other way. I mean, I would have had to have run through, um... <sighs> had to have run, whoop, through, uh, some enemies there, probably. Like... I know it's a silly complaint, but why not just keep your hood up the entire time you're traveling outside? It's like, it's not really bothering you to keep your hood up. It's like, so why do you keep putting it down if you know it's going to rain in, like, whatever distance or whatever, you know? Let's keep the hood up. Save yourself a lot of time doing it that way. Well, I mean, the suit does it for you, I guess. But I don't know why it would go down in the first place. This is a silly thing to talk about, but, you know, I've got to talk about something here. Uh, so I want to go to the right some more. We haven't laid down a little invention in a while. A hot minute. It's placed on a ladder. Yeah. We'll go right across. Okay, we keep going this way now. Easy enough. Uh, my 
little uh, OBS is starting to struggle a little bit more. I'm starting to notice that too. Let it catch up. Okay, caught up. No reason not to use the road. Alright, where are we? Alright, can keep going this way a little bit. We're gonna find out what the deal is first. Then we're gonna save it and call it. Cause if it's not go to mama's place, I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do, but I did it by accident. I wanted to set something down first, but I guess we're doing it that way. It's fine. <sighs> Give them their likes. Good bridge, good bridge. Did it. Proud of you. Raw officer, good job with your bridge, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know. Uh, I guess we keep going this way a little bit more. It's gonna be one of those longer parts just because of all the traveling. I honestly thought that that area was going to be like the end of the game, but I guess we got to backtrack now. It looks like we're going to have to go back that way. It's going to be a pain in my butt. I think the music ought to be done, right? Sweat, bruh. Can
almost there. Come on. Come on. Almost ruined reverse trek. Come on. Now we're going back this way. Yeah, stamina maintenance. Wow. It is what it be. There has not been a BT section in quite a long time. I'm actually very surprised about that. Like, dude, you would think that would make that more of a big deal. More renowned, you know? I mean, there was that unique BT, the one that you actually had to fight in the game, I remember that one. After that, I was like, okay, and then there's the, I know there's a unique one here, but we haven't fought it yet, technically speaking. And there's the bad guy, the terrorist guy, who's kind of been, his whole ordeal has been like, you know, kind of just being a terrorist or whatever. And being a bit meta about it too. It's like, oh, like game over and stuff. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, uh -huh. Alright, we spent nearly an hour getting here. Was it worth it? Was it worth the trek at all? There's my motorcycle, which is almost dead anyway. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. Just like I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void up. But, just as Deadman theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut the BT's cord. So, I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void up. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord 
avoid snipping super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. No. I don't know why this has to be the test, but okay. I see. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie. No, that part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lachna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was alright with it. I mean, <laughs> children needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lachna wanted a child. Someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course. As was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers, and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, and it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her, but I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her, but I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. Wasn't there more of this in the video game? Sam, would you sit me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. to the world.
to you. Two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? That was a really good scene, but it took, like, forever to get there. <laughs> Alright, well, that's what we're going to call it for today. If you ended up enjoying this part, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description. One will add you over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are desperately needed, and until next time, everyone, bye-bye.